Amazon's reported a staggering 5.6 billion in revenue last year, with creators bagging 80% of it. It's never been a better time to become a creator. However, with a 27% surge in users, an even steeper 47% rise in creators, is market saturation a concern? What are the real potential earnings for an average creator and how hard or realistic is it to break in the top 1%? I'm Quinn, an investment banker turned OF entrepreneur. Let's dive in. Let's start with why you shouldn't start on OF. If you think running your OF is like running a spicy Instagram page or as much work as working a full-time job, you're sadly mistaken. Starting an OF is starting a business. And when you start a business, you put everything into it. The average girl makes only $180 a month on her F, which is awfully low for dealing with the downsides of putting her body and sexuality online. If you're not willing to work hard, then this isn't for you. If you're thinking about starting a no face or F, or the thought of people from your real life finding out what you do fills you with anxiety, then this isn't for you. It's so hard to own it, believe me, I know, but people found me within my first week and more and more every month since. The way I justified to myself was by having a number in my head that made having all the negativity of OF worth it. How much money would it take you to deal with the misogyny or arbitrary social standards from strangers, and maybe even family and friends? If you can quantify this before you start, you're setting yourself up for success. For me, it was 2k a month above my normal income, or 5k instead of it. Surprisingly, I hit that within my first month, and I'm sure I would have been okay with people finding out if I was only part of the way there because I would have shown proof of concept of the idea to myself by that point. If you're still here, chances are you could have what it takes to do well on a web. But how well are we talking? You might have heard that a lot of creators don't make good money, but that's technically only half right. The truth is, the best 1% of accounts earn 33% of all the money on OnlyFans, while the top 10% of accounts earn 73% of all the money. But what they're neglecting to say is that most creators are not that active and certainly not treating this like a full-time business. You can see with the average creator only having 21 subs. I can get that amount daily from Reddit alone whilst working a full-time job. And if I can do it, so can you. If you're willing to do the work and reinvest in your page, then it's reasonable to aim for the top 5% within your first month and the top 1% within your second or third. There's an audience for everyone and that doesn't mean every look alone. But with every look, you can find the audience if you tap into the right niche, which I will talk more about in my video coming out later this week. Another thing I want to talk about is playing to your strengths. When you invest, you should invest in companies within your field. If you're working on biotech, then you should have the USP of understanding biotech companies better than the average person. So that should be where you put your money, not investing in random companies you don't understand. Well, here it's the same. If you have a marketing background, then use it to your advantage. I'm an investment banker who didn't use any social media before starting. I had to heavily lean into my ability to analyse big data to find exploitable angles. If I was a few years younger, you better believe I would have used my youth to fetishise myself. You've got to be willing to play to your strengths and the girls that do end up on top. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Is the market becoming more saturated? Yes, it's undeniable, but there's also more money up for grabs and the average creator isn't competitive. There's no Mr. Beast of OF yet, and even if there was, see how many more YouTubers can thrive with him around. More supply just means that we're incentivized to stand out in some new way. Figure out what people want to pay for and meet that demand. To anyone interested in starting, I have a referral link in my bio that I'll be offering one-on-one -on -one coaching to anyone who uses it. These first two videos have been pretty high level, but in my next video, I'll go more into depth into a single topic and hopefully provide more value to you all. If you're interested in learning how to grow your OnlyFans, please subscribe to help support me and see my future content.